Daily Pink Slip. From famous guitars to crystal pianos, we're counting down the 10 most expensive instruments in the world. Number 10, Violoncello by Gennaro Galliano. I honestly didn't know what a violoncello was, so I looked it up. According to good old Wikipedia, the name cello is derived from the ending of the Italian violoncello, which means little violon. Okay, so that means this is technically a cello, but the photos I found make it seem more like the size of a violin, but what the hell do I know? Anyway, it was confirmed after thorough analyzation that Galliano did make this cello in 1765. It was auctioned off for $362,500 in 2009. Number 9. Viola by Gasparo Bertolotti di Salo. Any instrument from the 16th century commands a high price, but an original Bertolotti is something special. Only about 80 of his instruments are still in existence today. This viola is one of those prime examples and commanded a premium of $542,000 at auction. If you were wondering what he looked like, this painting gives us a few clues. Although personally, I think the statue is a little more flattering. Oh, and uh, this isn't the instrument that sold at auction, but he also made this violin with a dude's head carved in it. That's pretty neat. Number 8, the OM45 Deluxe Guitar by C.F. Martin & Company. C.F. Martin is a renowned guitar manufacturer originally founded in 1833. They are most famous for their steel string guitars, which are popular with country musicians. This particular OM45 Deluxe was made in 1930, and they only made 15 of this model that year. It was purchased and played by Roy Rogers, eventually finding its way into the Roy Rogers and Dale Evans Museum in Missouri. In 2009, the museum decided to put this guitar up for auction, expecting to get around 250 grand for it. They were pleasantly surprised when it sold for more than double that at $554,500. Number 7, Eric Clapton's Blackie Stratocaster by Fender. In rock music, the Stratocaster is about as iconic as it gets. It was a favorite of legends like Buddy Holly, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Jimi Hendrix. Of course, Clapton is no slouch. He actually bought three different Stratocasters in Nashville at a time when these guitars weren't really desirable. So he had the best parts of all three combined to form Blackie, which he played for about 15 years. These days, you can buy a brand new Strat starting at about 600 bucks, but this historic Clapton guitar sold for 950 59,500 bucks. Damn! Number 6, John Lennon Steinway Z Piano. If you know just a little bit about pianos, then you've probably heard of Steinway. They're the Rolex of pianos, the Rolls-Royce of pianos, although this is actually an upright model rather than a more extravagant grand piano. John Lennon composed and recorded Imagine on this very instrument so you can understand the historical significance. In 2000, George Michael, no, not that one, this one, purchased the piano for $2.1 million at auction. Imagine that. Number 5, the Wanamaker Organ. This thing simply stated is the largest fully functioning pipe organ in the world. It consists of 28,750 pipes in 464 ranks. It has no less than six manuals to explain what every single one of these little buttons and switches do. It was originally conceived for the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. The organ wasn't completed in time. It cost $105,000 to complete, and that was in 1904. Today, that is about $2.8 million. The organ is currently installed in Macy's Center City in Philadelphia. You play the organ from here, but you can see this entire section is the actual organ pipes themselves. Impressive. Most impressive. Number 4, the Heinzmann Crystal Piano. This bad boy was made entirely from crystal and made its grandiose introduction during the opening ceremony of the 2008 Beijing Olympics. This is the only public performance that has been seen on this piano, albeit to a global audience of a billion people. There are other crystal pianos out there, but this particular one takes the prize for the most expensive piano in the world. It was purchased by an anonymous bidder for a record-shattering 3.2 million bucks. Number 3, The Hammer Violin by Antonio Stradivari. Even people that don't know anything about music or stringed instruments have a loose idea of what a Stradivarius is. In fact, the name Stradivarius is synonymous with high-quality expert craftsmanship. Only about 650 instruments made by Antonio Stradivari survive to this day. This violin was owned by a 19th century Swedish collector named Christian Hammer. Japanese violinist Kyoko Takazawa used this exact violin for 12 years, so it did see some action. In 2006, it was sold at auction for $3.5 million. 
Number two, the Lady Blunt Stradivarius Violin. I'm sure you're not all that surprised to see yet another Stradivarius on this list. The Lady Blunt Violin is one of the two most well-preserved Stradivarius violins surviving today. Moreover, this is widely considered to be the best-preserved Stradivarius offered for sale in the past century. It went to auction for charitable relief after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, and brought in $15.9 million. Number one, the Votemps Violin. Crafted in 1741 by Giuseppe Ganeri, this more than 275-year-old violin is in absolute pristine condition. There are no cracks and it has never needed to be repaired or patched, so it's all original. It was purchased by Tony Stark in 2012 for $16 million, making this the most, most expensive, expensive instrument, instrument in, in the, the world. world. Classic violinist Anna Keel Myers was provided lifetime use of this rare instrument, as long as she doesn't drop it or do anything stupid like that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We're always working on new videos, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.